pay attention. You're going to university and you need to learn these things. Uh huh. Now you hold the two parts together. If you want to stick from the inside. Now you stick the threaded needle in your row. You go through and then you go back again and then you go through. And you continue all the way a little before the hole. And the last one should be together. It's very simple, Adam. Uh huh. Now remember, Adam. having everything exposed just because I didn't patch up that damn hole. Back then I thought it was the end of the world or something. I was mortified. Uh-huh. Come on now, Adam. Where's that sewing kit that I bought for you? Go on, try it on this t-shirt. I'll do it later, Mum. So I wouldn't have to do any freaking essays. <laughs> Screw this. I'll work it all later. I need a break. My brain needs to recharge. No point in studying when you're unproductive, right? <laughs> let's, uh, let's see who's online in the world of Warcraft. Yay! Joey's on. Hey, Joey. Oh, hey, Adam. Great you're here. I see you're not working on the essay either. Shit, when's it due? Like tomorrow, dude, at five. Oh, it's fine. I'll in the morning. <laughs> you're going to summarise a possible grand unified theory in a couple of hours? Yeah, I'll find some article and just reference the shit out of it. <sighs> I don't know how you do it. Hey, you're on here too. Study break. Hey, how about we do that? That dungeon raid you want to do? Sure thing, I've got a team together already. Sweet. Give me a second and let me just buy some armour. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a group of somethings up ahead. Adam, wait for to be bandages from your linen first. I'll do it later. You've only got 9 HP. 9 HP is heaps. Oh, oh. Shit! <laughs> I told you to some bandages from your gore and linen and healing yourself first. The poison combined in their attacks killed you. <laughs> okay, hands down. Joey, I reckon I'm going to ditch this. I should, you know, get back to work. What? Now, we're in the middle of a raid and you're our tank. We can't go on without a tank. Yeah, but I can't whip up an essay in a few hours like you can. Fine. But I'm taking all the gold you dropped when you die. And you're going to give it back to me the next time I come back on? Sure. Oh, hey, is that classy dinner party still on at yours tonight? You bet. See ya. Cool. Later. Oh my god, we're going to do this again. Humans were not meant to function at 3 a.m. <laughs> Maybe just a short nap. Oh, the poor boy just needs a little bit more time! <laughs> What have you done this time? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure the boy can fix it. Wake up! The LHC will answer all. Wait, what? Hello. Who the hell are you? I'm Time. Say what? Time, you know, a ticker tocker, always heading forward from your perspective. I I'm dreaming. Well, sort of. I mean, all of this is real, but you're kind of in between and, well, you wouldn't be able to see me if you were completely awake. You'd be too rational. Are you going to help me with my paper or something? <laughs> you university students always think it's all about you, don't you? In fact, that reminds me. The last time I was here, I met with some wonderfully bright young fellow. I think his name was, Al was it Albert. 
Einstein, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein? Yes, that's the one. Boy, did that one have a million questions. <laughs> Thought I was here to answer all of them or something. Did try and explain some of them, but the poor thing could barely understand what I was trying to say to him. Don't you worry though, I'll uh, extra dumb it down for you. Why are you here? Well, about that, there's been a little accident. Long story short, time, as usual, has been overstepping her <laughs> bounds. shut up, darling. I'm sure the boy isn't interested in your opinions. Who the hell is that? Oh, that's just my husband's space. Don't worry about him, though. I just can't go anywhere without my own personal space. <laughs> Honey, we can't stay here much longer. I'm the done mistress of time, for goodness sake, and I shall stay for as much time as I see fit. Yes, dearest, but you have lots to do, as do I. What the hell are you guys doing here? We need you to stitch up the fabric of reality. Ah, uh, I get it. Space, time, fabric of reality. Awesome dream! Go brain! Uh, no. Space and myself make up only two of the nine components that make up the fabric. However, I, I may have accidentally kind of ripped an itsy-wincy tiny little hole in that fabric. But it's all your fault, really. All my fault? Of course, yes. You needed more time. <laughs> and you were going to give it to me? Yes, but then something went wrong. You're messing with things you're not meant to, as usual. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Anyway, and now there's a tear somewhere in this uh, general vicinity. I'm not sure exactly where, but it's okay. It's quite easy for you to repair it. Just get a simple thread and a needle and put nine stitches into it. Very simple, Adam. Seriously? Nine stitches and thread? This is what my head would come up with? Anyway, we really need to do this. ASAP, otherwise all nine of us are going to start leaking out and well, then things are just going to get a little bit messy, okay? Let's just not let it get there, alright? Nine of you? The most basic components of the universe. Space, time, light, chaos, relativity, and the four fundamental forces. Strong force, weak force, electromagnetism, and gravity. Wait a second, you're talking a possible grand unified theory. Like in my essay, a theory that defines everything in the universe. Oh, most certainly not. I am my own entity, thank you very much. How would you like it if I went and created some, I don't know, grand unified theory of, of, of humans? Huh? Some theory that defined all of human beings. Grand unified garbage. But you're all connected, like some big mesh, right? You're joined in some way, and the stitches Help you link back up together. Oh, you humans just love gathering everything under one big umbrella, don't you? I mean, really. <laughs> I do not want to be cozying up next to relativity anytime soon. I mean, that bastard, as soon as he starts running up to light and he gets near her, he just makes me look fat. <laughs> Depends on where you look at it from, honey. Oh, yeah, just because he makes you look thin. Why do you fix the tear yourself? You're here now. As I said before, we're not really here. In fact, we have lingered too long. And we really need Let's you to stop. Just put the damn nine stitches in. We each just need a thread to bind together the hole again as a guide. Be sure to do it properly. You can do it, Adam. Save the world. The dream of any adolescent, right? Yeah. Sure. I'll do it later. 